If you haven't already heard the news, the J-League is coming to FM24, a fully licensed league with multiple divisions in it, and that's going to bring with it plenty of new potential save ideas for you guys. So today, I'm going to cover five of the best save ideas for managing in the Japanese divisions. This comes from a brilliant article by Seabass, who has done more than just these five clubs that I'm going to mention today in that article, with great reasoning as to why you should manage them, and I'll leave that article link below should you want to check it out. But yes, we're going to break down five teams as quickly as we can for you and if you do enjoy the video smash the like button comment down below which Japanese team you're planning on managing and if you haven't already then subscribe to the channel ahead of FM24 which if leaks to be to believed the beta shouldn't be too far away now maybe even in the next day or two so with that being said let's get in to team number one now we all have fallen giant saves in football manager teams that used to win plenty of trophies that recently haven't really done too much well our first club Tokyo Verdi fits that bill perfectly now I can't show you them in Football Manager because it's not out yet. So we've got a handy Wikipedia article for you here. But to sum it up, this is a team in the 80s and 90s were winning trophies and lots of them. They were one of the best sides in the nation, at one point winning four consecutive titles in a row. They've got a 50,000 capacity seater stadium in the heart of Tokyo. So of course, we are talking about the capital of Japan. So what could be more fun than that? But recently, times haven't been so good. They are stagnant, stuck in the second division, not doing too great and they've been there for a little while so your job will be to drag them out of the second division into the first and then try and win the AFC Champions League. Next we're looking at a club in a similar situation with a little bit of a twist. This is Jubilo Iwata, a team that find themselves in the second division currently. Much like our previous team, they were very successful a few years back. At the start of the millennia, they had won three top division trophies, the AFC Champions League, which if you don't know is the Champions League equivalent for the Asian division. So they were a dominant side. Now though, they've recently been relegated into the second tier and if things weren't bad enough already, they've now got a transfer ban implemented by FIFA. Now, is this going to be represented in game? I don't know. You assume it will be and if it is, it's going to make things very hard and very challenging. In the successful period in the early millennia, they were known for having a team full of domestic Japanese based talent. So your job will be to try and replicate the success that they've had previously, get back in the top division despite all of the financial restrictions whilst developing your own homegrown talent. Our next team is JEF United Chiba, once again in the second division. We're not giving you any easy saves in today's video. They were formerly known as Furukawa Electric and were actually the first team to win the AFC Champions League, or at least the equivalent version, which was called the Asian Club Championship back in 1986-1987. They were the first Japanese side to do so, as you can see here on the Wikipedia article. Again, if you want more details about these teams, you can find it in the brilliant article by Seabass, which like like I say, will be linked below. But yes, your job with this team will be to take them from the second division into the first. And then from there, you want to win the Asian Champions League yet again. Now they've got a 20,000 capacity stadium. And on top of that, they were actually one of the original 10 J League clubs when it was founded. So there's a lot of history there and hopefully you can deliver some success to the club. Team number four, we're looking at Shimizua S Pulse. Now, again, I've probably butchered a pronunciation of all of this. I'm doing my best, but this is a fun save because again, we're adding a little twist to it. This club is based in the region of Shizuoka, which has been famously known for producing lots of good Japanese footballing talent. And at one point, this club's philosophy was to only have players from that area. Now, I don't believe it's quite that way anymore, but for that reason, Shimizu S Pulse is a very unique team in the Japanese divisions. On top of that, most clubs in the J League were founded as a company team. You can see that by a lot of the club's names, which some have changed over time. But this club was made by local business owners. Now, since their inception, they have been quite a successful Successful club, winning trophies such as the Asian Cup Winners' Cup. However, the league title has eluded them. Now, your job isn't just going to be to win that league title. Obviously, that's what you're going to want. But on top of that, you're going to try and do it just from developing youth players from your academy, creating this dynasty, a golden generation. As we mentioned earlier, the Shizuoka region is known for producing lots of good young footballers. This is also backed up on the Wikipedia article, which obviously isn't the most trustworthy source. But it does say here it's historically been a strong footballing area of Japan, mainly due to the success of its high school teams. So what we might see in FM24 is them having a good youth recruitment network, maybe good youth 
facilities. And from there, you might be able to get some good youngsters coming out of your academy to build your club around. And finally, we're looking at Nara Club, who have a lot less information on them here. And that's because they were only founded fairly recently in footballing terms in the early 90s. Now, the reason that we're picking these out is they'll be in the third division of the Japanese footballing pyramid. And it's actually their first entry to that section of the Japanese leagues ever. They started in the 11th division in the early 90s, have been slowly progressing their way up the divisions and have now found themselves for the first time in the J League 3. And after winning the title in the 4th division in 2022, they find themselves in 2023 in the 3rd division. So they'll be accessible within the game. It's going to be their debut season. And for that reason, it's a real zero to hero story. A 30,000 capacity stadium. You'll be looking to drag this team up. And then you want to win the top domestic honours as well as winning the Asian Champions League. It would be a good challenge, but if you're looking for a fun save in Japan to really get immersed in it, starting in the lowest division that will be accessible in the game, then this could be a great save for you. So there we go, everybody. That's five Japanese league saves that you could try out in FM24 if you are interested by it. Don't forget to like the video if you did enjoy and check out Seabass's article for more information about these Japanese clubs and some extra ones I didn't mention here. Subscribe if you haven't already to the channel ahead of FM24, where we will have daily football manager videos, if not double daily when the game comes out. So plenty of content for you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.